Hey everyone, I'm Tim Tebow, and you're watching Southside Scoop. Good morning, Park Hill South, and welcome to the South Side Scoop. I'm Rachel Schistler. And I'm Spencer Bramer. Today is a purple day. So, Spencer, I know that you are a huge football fan. I definitely am. I will bleed purple until the day I die, Rachel. Well, that's that always good news. <laughs> All right, well, I do have some more news on football. Our very own football team will be holding a special fundraiser, raffling off signed varsity footballs. There will be a total of three footballs, one signed by seniors, varsity defense, and varsity offense. Each will be raffled for $1. Tickets will be available at the Senior Night Game throughout halftime. On October 9th, the Park Hill South Volleyball team will play Park Hill and Dig for a Cure event at Park Hill. All proceeds we raise from this event will benefit Susan G. Komen Foundation and Northwest Missouri Camp Quality. The team is selling t-shirts for the event, taking donations, and Park Hill will be holding a raffle at the game. Are you interested in creative writing, artwork, and graphic design? Then you should join the South Literary Art Magazine Inkblot. The meeting will be at 7 a.m. in room C200 on Wednesday, September 26. Also, Art Space U will be meeting Thursday after school in the Art Department until 4 p.m. The North Kansas City College Fair will be held on Thursday, October 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. At Maple Woods, meet representatives from more than 100 colleges and university technical schools, military branches, and many more. And the 2013 Prudential Spiritual Award of Community Award recognizes high school students who have demonstrated exemplary community service. For more information, see Ms. Doral in counseling. Center Stage should stop by E100 today to pick up a newsletter detailing activities and plans for the next meeting. Well, everyone knows her name, but not all students know what Roadcat does. Let's take it over to Joey Pinella with more. Though she may be very popular around Park Hill South for patrolling the parking lots on her golf cart, one of Park Hill South's main members of security is even more popular for her nickname. Roadcat. Roadcat. Roadcat? A couple years ago, I was at Oak Park Mall with my daughter, and everybody kind of turns around and jumps and we hear this blood curdling scream, Roadcat! And everybody kind of stops, and my daughter looks at me and she's like, Mom, I'm mortified. And then this woman standing next to me turns to me and looks at me and says, What's a Roadcat? Though people may know of her nickname, Roadcat, how did that nickname actually come about? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that she's got on the back of her, on her plates, and just everybody's kind of run with it. Well, I have a personalized license plate on my car, which is Rocat, which I'm sure that's where they're getting that from. And I have the personalized plate because I rode uh, on women's crew at the college that I went to, which was Ithaca College. Though she may be known around school for being Rocat, what does she really do for Park Hill South? The uh, main thing that I want to do is I just want to screen people when they're coming to our campus to know who's here, why they're here. Um, and really we do the same thing on the way out as well. So just screening people. So we want to know who's on campus. With all that she does for Park Hill South, it's easy to see that ROCAT is an important aspect of our school. To maintain safety here, again, making sure the proper people are here, they're supposed to be here. Um, we've had instances where people have shown up that aren't supposed to be here and she helps us take care of that. So the next time you see ROCAT, you may even throw her off by calling her Mrs. Heflin. For the South Side Scoop, I'm Joey Pinella. Thanks for that, Joey. Now let's roll it on over to Seth with weather. Thank you for that, Spencer and Rachel. Last night we had a few showers come through. We were able to wet the ground a little bit. Let's go ahead and see if the trend will continue. But right now, let's see what the current conditions are. Right now in KCR at 63, downtown at 70, over in Olathe at 67, and in Lee Summit at 7. Let's go to the three-day forecast. Tuesday is a high of 83, low of 62. Wednesday, high of 78, low of 62. Thursday, high of 74, low of 63. Gonna rain Wednesday and Thursday. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching the Southside Scoop. I'm Rachel Schistler. And I'm Spencer Bramer. Have a great day, Park Hill South.